All right, I'm continuing my quest to answer the questions that you guys have posed for me here. And I got a good question here. And um, it is from Matt B7847. And he says, when to stand up for yourself versus when to take things on the chin and keep your mouth shut. I'm really struggling with this with my boss. Okay, here we go. So here's the thing. The, in order to understand this, in order to under, right, to answer this question, you need to understand power, power dynamics. And it, I think this is something that people don't understand. And if they do, they don't want to understand. They don't want to respect power because they don't ever want to believe that someone has power over them, which is just, it's wishful thinking. People do have power over you and you have to understand when they're in a position of power and you're not. And that's okay because sometimes you're going to be in the position of power and other people are not going to be. And, and that's just how it is. You know, a uh, really good book, Robert Greene, 48 Laws of Power. I've got it back here somewhere. But mm, I don't see it, but it's back there. It's on my list. I've got a list of 50 books uh, to read, 52 books that would change your life in, in one year. And that's I'm sure that's one of them. So it should be back there. I just don't know why I don't see it. Anyway, it's driving me crazy, but okay, read that book. All right, but the, the idea is like, at the beginning of the book, he talks about how life is like a chess game and it's not personal. Everything that everyone does, nothing is personal. They're just playing chess. So that's what the frame you have to have in order to deal with this, in order to answer this question, right? So how do you know when to stand up for yourself and when to take things on the chin and keep your mouth shut? Read the 48 Laws of Power and understand that it's all about strategy, right? The answer is you stand up for yourself where that's the strategically best move to make. And I know that's kind of the question you're asking me is like to give you the strategy, but I can't give you a general strategy. You have to understand power in order to understand where you have it and where you don't. But just from your own knowledge, even without under, under, like doing a deep study of this and, and reading that book, you can sort of figure this out, right? So let me give you some examples, okay? So let's say that you're working this job right now and you don't have a, a very valuable set of skills. It's hard to find a job right now. You don't have a lot of money saved up, okay? And, and that's your situation, okay? And, and you're not even really valuable at, at your work, right? Where, where if they lost you, they would be shit, uh, you know, out, up the creek without a paddle, okay? Shit out of luck. So in that situation... If your boss is a dick to you, should you stand up for yourself or should you just eat shit? You should just eat shit, okay? Because you don't have any power. You have nothing, right? Now, a lot of people will be like, oh, I stood up for myself. And they're like, oh, yeah, you're good. I'm proud of you. You stood up for yourself. You don't take any kind of shit from anyone. You're you're a real kind of man. No, you're not. You're a fucking idiot, okay? Because you don't have a pot to piss in and you just pissed off the person who would give you a pot to piss in. That's stupid, right? Now, the argument could be make should you ever put yourself in this situation and i would say no that's why i always have at least three months of of savings saved up so that you get living expenses saved up okay if you don't have three months then fucking do it right now like damn okay so you don't put yourself in a crunch position because once you're in a crunch then everyone has power over you everyone has leverage over you okay uh there, there's so many instances where if you don't have money, man, someone can fuck you over badly because they know that you need it, okay? They know that if you don't get this, if you don't get paid, right? Imagine, imagine this, that you don't have money. You're living paycheck to paycheck, okay? Someone knows it, okay? Your car payment is due tomorrow, okay? And you're, you've been late three times. They're going to repo your ass or whatever it is. Like, it, it's a big problem if you don't make this car payment tomorrow or you're going to be evicted, whatever it is, okay? And so... You got someone who owes you money. They owe you five grand, okay? Whatever, all right? And then they know this, and they say to you, well, well shit, um, I'll, uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, how about you, you take three grand? And you're like, no, you owe me five grand. And they're like, well, okay, fine. I, I, guess, I guess I won't pay you then. <laughs> they're like, oh, I'll take you to court. Okay, well, yeah, it'll probably take you some time to do that, right? <laughs> In the meantime... You're going to get your shit repoed or you're going to get kicked out of your house. So you're going to have to take them up on the deal. You're going to have to take a, a 2K haircut. Now, again, this is all a fictional example, but this is an example of why you don't want to be in a crunch, okay? Why you want to have money saved up so that you're in a good position of power. Now, let, let's, let's look at a different scenario, okay? You're in a situation where 
you got money. Hey, you're financially free, okay? <laughs> you, 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 you listen to Bulldog Mindset. You listen to my video on how to become financially free, okay? I think the link is in the description here for, for this. Uh, but anyway, you figured that out, okay? And so you got money. You, you got passive income. You, you invested in some real estate. You bought some, some, uh, some real estate. You got passive income from that. You got a little side business going, okay? You, you, you have a YouTube channel, you got a blog, like you got a personal brand, you could get a job tomorrow if you need to. And you don't even need to, but you could, right? Your boss starts to be a dick to you. And that, in that case, fuck him. <laughs> you stand up for yourself. It doesn't matter. Like you're not going to be treated like shit. You're not going to take any kind of shit. You don't need to take shit from anybody because you are in control. And he knows it. He knows that you're extremely valuable and that, you know, that he better actually watch his mouth around you. Okay. So that's, that's the difference. That, that's how you know, right? You got to know where, what, and now again, these are two extremes. There's, there's various positions in there and there's various things that are worth it or not worth it to you, right? But what influences that and what gives you the most power is your financial situation. Okay. Which brings us to our sponsor for today's video, a commercial for the well that never runs dry. So uh, I actually help you with this. I have a six month coaching program, weekly coaching calls where I help you to become financially free. Okay. Uh, if you're interested in that, I teach you how to build a business. I teach you how to build a personal brand. I teach you how to invest in real estate and how to set goals and achieve them and kick you in the ass. And we get on calls every single week. Go on Instagram. My name is Bulldog Mindset at Bulldog Mindset on Instagram and DM me the word YouTube. If you do this, then someone from my team will contact you and you can find out more information. And that's, it's, it's as simple as that. But getting back to the question here, okay? As far as understanding power, like I said, financial literacy, like having financial resources is super, super important because the more money you have, the less shit you have to take from people because you don't need them. The more that you need people, right? And it's not just money, but money is, is a big part of it. But the more that you need people, the more that you are going to have to play nice, right? As soon as you don't need people, as soon as you have yourself straightened out, then then you're in a position of power, right? And uh, and again, you, you the other parts of it come down to the politics and who would side with you. And, and there's a lot of different things. Again, like I said, read the book 48 Laws of Power by Robert Greene. It's really good. You'll, you'll understand a little bit more about power dynamics. But power dynamics are super, super important, right? It, it's not... People think of this too simplistically as I need to stand up for myself or uh, no, no, you need to logically think about things. Another good book is how I found freedom in an unfree world by Harry Brown. And that sort of talks about some of this as well. Uh, basically your, your sovereignty. So you understand that, you know, the choices you're making, it's not about right or wrong. It's not about justice. Okay. It's about logic. It's about does this make sense in this context, right? And so in different contexts and different power situations, different actions are going to make sense. You, you can't always be like, yeah, I just die on every hill. No, that's stupid. All right, I'll see you tomorrow.